Hey you guys, this is author Delisha and welcome to my channel. If you are new, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time there is a new upload. And today I'm going to be showing y'all how to use a video caster, how to cast TV episodes and movies or anything that you would like to watch onto your TV. Now this will be specifically for people who have um, Xbox One systems, Xbox Playstations, whatever, because I'm going to be showing y'all how to stream through my Xbox One. As y'all see, I am in the Google Play Store. Um, this also works for Apple devices, but because I have an Android phone and an Android tablet, that is why I am in the Google Play Store. So I'm on it on my desktop, as y'all see. And you can download any of these web casting apps. There's many of different ones. It depends on what type of um, device you are using. So because I'm using the Xbox One, I'm specifically looking for an app that says Xbox, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, anything of that nature. Certain apps do certain things. Some of them cast through like Ruker boxes, Apple um, Apple boxes, they also cast through smart TVs, Blu-ray players, anything of that nature. You just want to make sure that you look under the casting app to make sure that it fits the qualifications of what you are actually trying to stream your movie or your TV episode through. Now on the side right here, you do see one called All Cast, Local Cast. It tells you different casting apps. But um, I'm basically showing y'all this one right here, which is called Web Video Cast. It says browser to TV, Chromecast, or DLNA plus devices. So as you see, it says install because it's basically saying that I can install this. People, people that have Chromebooks. They're basically powered through like Google. So it does come with the Google Play. So you can also install this on your Chromebook and it will work the same as if you was to install it on an Android device, whether it's an Android phone, tablet, et cetera, et cetera. So this is what it looks like. This is what you're gonna need to install. As you see, it is installed on the front of my phone and it's basically right there in the middle. So once you install it, you're going to basically open it up in your device. It's going to look like this. And it's asking me, do I want to restore my tabs from something that I previ previously casted to my TV? And this is pretty much what it looks like. I have no idea why it pulled up another app. So that is what it looks like for those of you that want to know once you download it and open it up. As you see right up here at the top, there is a little TV stream. That is what you're going to click on first to set everything up. So you're going to click on it. And as you see, you can decide what you want it to basically look for right here. It is showing the Google Chromecast, Google Chrome stick. You roll it up and it has all the DLNA devices. You scroll it up and it's showing all of the Ruker devices. And you scroll up right here and it's all of the Fire TV devices. And this is basically all of the Apple TV devices. And this is basically for these LG smart TVs and the LG netcast TVs. So once you pick what you want it to stream for, mine's is basically set on Ruker, but I'm not streaming through my Ruker because it's not back here in my beauty room slash office. So I'm going to change it out to the DLNA devices, which means that I'm going to be streaming through my Xbox One. And then I'm going to click done. And you see it's, it scanned all my devices. And right here it says my bedroom in the Xbox One, which is what I'm previously 
trying to connect that to. And right now it's connected to my Xbox One. For those of you that have the Xbox One, you will want to make sure that this is on your Xbox One, which is what I'm going to show y'all right now. Hopefully y'all can see it from here. That's the TV. And you see this setting right here that my controller is on where it's saying movies and TV. That is what you need to have on your Xbox One for it to work properly. If you do not have it on your Xbox One, you're going to want to download that movies and TV app. And when you click onto it, it's basically going to show you all of these movies, TV episodes, etc., etc. This is pretty much what it is going to route and what it's going to stream through. So, Depending on what you want to look up, you can basically use this browser that's right here. You click on it and you type in what you would like to go to. So it can be a movie site, anything that you know that has TVs, movies, etc., etc. Or you can do another choice, which is back out. And you can go to another app that I have installed onto my phone, which is on the Fire Stick, and it's called Terrarium TV. So right here, as you see, this was the last movie that I was basically looking at, which is the Spider-Man. You'll see it right here. And if I back out, it's showing all of the Terrarium TV apps. For those of you that do have Fire Sticks, know exactly what I'm talking about. So you could just randomly look through, pick what you want to pick. Does not matter. That's one thing, glass. You notice there's a play button up here and there's also a play button at the bottom. You click and it's gonna stream and pull up your links. And you basically can go to any movie site you can go to Go Movies. You can go to One Two Three Movies. You can go to One Two Three Netflix. They all work the same. They're all going to do the same for it to stream your TV episodes or any of your cinema movies to your TV. You have to give it time for the links to to pop up, depending on how fast your um, internet is. Is what you want to pick, and if you want the highest quality and for your picture to show up real clearly, then you're gonna go with that 720. But if your internet speed is not as fast, then you're gonna to wanna to pick one of these lower speeds. So, and right here, you're gonna see the link that says play, play with subtitles, play with download, download with subtitles and copy stream link. So I'm gonna pick play with, and you see right here how it says the Google Photos, the streaming media player, the web video caster. That is what you're trying to cast through to your TV. So that is what you click. And as you see, my TV is actually starting to load the movie that I chose. Y'all see that right there? Hopefully you can see that clearly. So the movie is basically playing. Wow, I did not know that Bruce Willis was in this movie. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Let me stop this right here and pause it. All right, you guys, that is pretty much all for now. I just showed y'all the easiest way how to download a casting app and how to cast a video through the app that's on your TV through your Xbox One. Any questions, comments, or concerns, um, 
Make sure you comment down below. Like, love, subscribe, comment. Tell me what y'all think about this. Have y'all tried this before? Do you know how to cast videos to your TV, to your Xbox One, to your Ruker, to your Apple, anything of that nature? Make sure y'all stay tuned because I will be showing y'all how to cast through your Fire Stick. And I will also be showing y'all how to mirror videos or movies right to your TV. Please feel free to share this video and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.